for just a minute. Let's, okay. let's get into our experience. Let's let's get into it. So guys, this is a topic that it's going to be a fun one. We're going to have some fun stories. We're going to we're going to take you on for a little bit of a ride in the uh, Medrose family over here on how our experience was at at the time the number one public university in the world and what that means and what the stories are behind that entire uh, scenario. And you know, I'm sure some things are going to shock you guys. So uh, I'm going to just start off by telling you guys personally how it was to go there. First of all, I know when we were doing our application process, I didn't really think much of it when I got into UC Berkeley. I, I had gotten into a free ride at, at Davis and I had a lot of pressure off of me. And when I got into Berkeley, it was just like, okay, cool. I can go to the school. It's near San Francisco. Um, I didn't even realize at the time it was number one public university in the world or anything like that. It was just and when I was a kid, we've had alumni go there um, in our family. It was just a place that we we're familiar with. So I was like, okay, awesome. Let's go to UC Berkeley. Um, I remember when we first went there, the first thing we did, if uh, you guys are familiar with the area, is we went to a place called Jot Cafe. Jot Cafe. Jot Cafe is pretty Didn't good. Didn't they close? I think they're closed now. It, it might have I been I don't know closed. if they are, but they it's were on, pretty good. Yeah. And for I'm those of you guys listening, right it's... Now. It's across from well, it's across from Trader Joe's on uh, University Avenue, where we uh, where we had lived all those years, um, and it was uh, interesting. We walked out of the car. I remember we looked around. It was, I had never been to Berkeley before, and the first thought was, "What the hell did I just get myself into?" I walked out of the car, and what's the first smell that hits you? It was literally. I walked out of the car, and I was it's just this wave. was just like, oh, and I was like, "What is that?" It was a strong smell of urination, and I was just like, <laughs> "What? What is going on here?" I was like, "Okay, maybe like somebody just urinated here by accident or something like that." Yes, so then somebody. I, <laughs> I walked, I walked into Chat Cafe. We all sat down, we ordered. I am totally in disagreement with you guys. I think that place is... Oh, I think it declined really? over time. It, it declined bad. over time. Rubbery chicken. The mango lessee was not the business. The non might have been tolerable. Other than that... I like their wraps. The wraps, they, the wraps were okay. Again, I think they started changing the formula like Shum's had. Um, so I'm just sitting there and I'm looking out the window and I'm like, what the hell? There's like all sorts of different people out there all wearing some strange... Uh, instruments, uh, people in, uh, you know, walk, walking around with giant bags and shopping carts, uh, people with... Sounds uh, normal to me. Yeah, yeah. oh, it does now. Me. But imagine never having been to a place like this, right? We've never lived in a place like this. <laughs> It's yeah, still being like pretty young. Planet. It felt like it. Mm -hmm. uh, again, being like 17, I think it was 16, 17 years old, something like that, starting there. And, <laughs> I can uh, just imagine her miss Jock when he sees Yeah, just sitting there the eating my naan. I was just like, what? Just looking out the entire Someone's time. like getting this... a Trader Joe's bag. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true, too. I had never been to Trader Joe's until then. Um, so then just in utter disbelief as to what I was going to be, uh, living in for the next, uh, uh, four years. So, so we go, um, after that, we were done with disbelief at such a normal <laughs> picture. You Literally people are like, dude, if you're going to be like, you're so ungrateful in the comments, Bro, you're going to be like, again, you're people, uh, I want to preface this, right? We had lived in the tri city for most of our life. Then we moved out to I, suburban area. So what's area. the weird part that you saw? The carts. <laughs> Where have you seen in an okay? You you're in a suburban area. Where have you seen individuals with sleeping well, bags, you visited garbage San bags? You visited it. I guess, but uh, it's usually. I guess the other thing is we would visit a tourist place in San Francisco and leave again. Pretty young, right? 16, 17 years old. I, okay, I we get not it. You really were traumatized. <laughs> I'm trying to paint a picture. Stay with me, okay? So so after we're done eating, we step out and we kind of tour tour the area. Um, and then, uh, we go ahead and go to the dorms that I'm supposed to be living at. A lot of people, uh, take the unit dorms. I stayed, uh, the, the typical things that, uh, you, you hear are the unit. There's unit one, two, and three, which look really nice nowadays. When we were there, they, all these buildings and stuff are new for you guys. When we were there, um, mm -hmm. all that stuff was just unbelievably, uh, old. Um, so the unit dorms are the party dorms. Uh, I actually took the foothill dorms on the hill, um, where kind of all the geeky kids are at. That was the, the quote unquote, the science kids, the pre-med kids. A lot of them used to say a foothill back in the day. Um, and I had a roommate as well. He was doing engineering. Uh, we went up there to kind of analyze where I'm going to be living in the dorms. Absolutely. Uh, not really 
not really um, uh, disappointed, but not impressed at all as to what the number one public university in the world was offering uh, as a high quality dormitory living situation. Um, we walked in. It's like this really old, gross carpet. Like wood is all I scratched up. Okay, and I have to interrupt this because I have to explain why I'm laughing. The only thing I remember, as far as what this description triggers, is my mom just coming home and yelling to me and Shaman, "The poor kid. He yeah. has to like live in a place where people wash their underwears in the sink." Let's get to that. And Let's get to that. I remember. <laughs> we'll get to that. So, so the day that you guys dropped me off, though, is what I'm going over. So. So we go ahead and move all of our stuff in and uh, my roommate comes, I meet them and we're both like, whoa, this is not what we expected again of the number one public university in the world at the time. Um, kind of a little shocking environment. Uh, again, I'm, I, I don't want to paint it as it was a hole in the ground, like totally unthankful and ungrateful and it wasn't the worst place in the world. But again, like you'd be shocked if this was uh, of the standard of that you were not expecting. Uh, so then after that, uh, you guys all leave and I'm stuck in this place and it's all brand new and uh, it's, it's a huge adjustment to the city. A lot of people are walking around. We don't really have that great of a transportation system. Um, the homeless uh, situation is absolutely like somebody should, I cannot believe nothing is really done about the homeless situation. That's a whole separate topic that should be done. Uh, you get to the point where you start uh, knowing the homeless people by name. You know them. Um, uh, they're so frequent. They hit the same spots every day. They're on their own schedule. Um, the, the, the classes themselves ended up being pretty difficult, uh, coming from high school. Um, and then just, I'll continue on my diatribe, but I want to know how does that compare to your guys's first initial? Cause we all three went to UC Berkeley. Um, these guys following my footsteps, uh, do what, what do you, what was your guys' experience as your initial uh, initiation into it? I know you guys didn't even have to go through the dorm process. Cause obviously I had to pave the way and tell you guys to stay the hell away from that. And I'll tell you why in a second here, but Go ahead. Yeah, I will say about the homeless situation. Yeah, I definitely do wish that um, the city would help them and uh, like give them a place to stay. Because you would, you were right. You would see the same person in the sleeping bag for literal months, mm -hmm. like sleeping in a doorway. That's unacceptable for like anyone in a civilized country. Um, so I definitely wish that um, the city would, especially uh, California, is getting loads of money. Like get, hand some over to Berkeley and get them to fix the situation, help people who really need to be helped. In Jack. my experience, though, the people like we had a pizza shop, like a Domino's, down the street from where we lived. Mm -hmm. And any every time I would come back yeah. with pizza, I would always be handing pizza over, like I'm a pizza and delivery. And he comes with man. half a pizza. Well, because you have a the two for five five ninety nine from oh, Domino's. That's a guess. So good you're carrying two pizzas. You've got tons of pizza. Yeah, so I know. I'm handing it over to yeah, people like the pizza home man. With pizza How, you know, sometimes missing. remember when I when I was studying <laughs> for uh, my MCAT alone. I, I would just get the two for five ninety nine, and I would literally, you know, the swath of like um, homeless people near McDonald's. I'd yeah. literally just hand over one of the pizzas. You, you to should them have started a it. YouTube channel back then, and you would have been known as the pizza guy with a million views, going <laughs> pizza home guy. giving out pizzas uh, everywhere. But in my experience, though, they were super, super grateful yeah, and I super had a good pleasant and when experience. they never yeah. said anything about vegan or anything to me. They were super nice. Yeah. Yeah, um, of I'm sure there are some because I definitely saw some where it was like vegan, homeless person, like they yeah, have yeah. signs. Which but is totally I admirable. Think, yeah, generally, I think, honestly, everyone was respectful and grateful when they did get something. Um, and we're going to yeah, go into I've had... in our next video, by the way. That's another hot topic I want to go into. Anyway, continue, Trump. Oh, yeah. I was just saying, um, yeah, the only bad experience I had with a homeless person mm -hmm. is when I was um, taking Popeye's home to you uh, and meat, obviously, to eat. But we were both going to eat it because we lived in the same yeah. uh apartment yes complex. we get that and <laughs> just making it clear um so i was going home and i just had i just brought my credit card to quickly go uh get papa so i didn't have any cash on me and the guy's like uh yo can i get some money man and then i was like uh, sorry i actually don't have any on me he's like then he's like f you then and he just walked away <laughs> and i'm like and that was there like was, during dude, my there first was a good year, number so of those man yeah there were some of those though. i, I had that was only number. when i experienced 
There okay. is also like catcalling with the homeless people if you're a girl. Sometimes I'd be walking with a guy friend or even with Herman and they'd be say something to both of us. And there's that. But like, again, every time really I bothersome. again. Yeah, exactly. Every time I remember the multiple times when we were walking, it was never anything. Distress. I know catcalling it's is a whole chill. nother. Uh, yeah. But even you saying that catcalling is a whole nother thing where no, girls will be offended. We didn't even have when, that. We yeah. didn't have that offensive catcalling. We just had like. Also, I think they honestly got to know us. I think they honestly recognized my face, yeah, a lot of, of them. Course. And they would say, hey, what's up? <laughs> like, actually, yeah. probably because but like, that's oh, what an Indian girl who walks here every day. Yeah, but you might not consider that offensive cat calling. Even just that is offensive to some people. So just wanted to put that out there. Make sure we recognize that for you out there that would be offended. Um, other than that, so anyway, back to the main topic. How was your guys' first initial experience at UC Berkeley going there? Is that what you expected? I guess when you had already seen it because you had yeah. visited with me. So I probably have a different experience than you, you guys. So first, mm. I didn't have to live in the dorms because Herman already had his apartment by then because um, he was a higher in. He's older than me, for those of you who are still confused about that. <laughs> um, so I came to Berkeley after him. I went to his apartment uh, complex and i thought it was like pretty good like my first semester had a really good impression on me because i found that the people were super nice um like because we came from not the best high school right in terms of the people yeah they were nice yeah, but we they went to weren't multiple like high schools but yeah uh the like, last one we there were went people to, yeah. getting in like fights every day there was like oh, yeah, apparently yeah. stabbings and um not in my year but in previous years yeah and i would right. say like, nerdy kids were not really embraced in our school right oh like yeah. in our high yeah. school I mean, and i think like that's small... also of the times as well back then uh it was kind of shifting to the anime is cool uh you know all this kind of stuff is being accepted it was kind of in that shift a lot of people don't understand you watched uh uh, not Dragon Ball Z, everyone is just universally loved. But if you watch any of these kind of newer anime, you were going to get roasted if people find it out. So that's the kind of culture we grew up in. It's a little different now. Yeah, Sorry, but again, my off. again my high school year, I think, was also slightly different. Now, we did have a bit of like a nerd group, and I was super cool with everyone in that, uh, in that group. Okay, okay. So, uh, but overall, within the school, the school was filled with a lot of uh, not so pleasant people. Yeah. Um, so going to Berkeley and seeing the huge amount of people that are super friendly, and especially yeah. when people are telling me that there's gunners everywhere, there's people gonna eat you alive. I found, yeah, right. yeah but in my first semester there, I yeah. found very friendly like people, even like during the uh, touring and stuff, everyone's mm -hmm. trying to connect you with other people. People are super friendly. People are, really wanna get to know you. So I had a really good um, like first impression of it, which is what you asked me. And if we want to get to Gunners in like third and fourth year and all that, we can do that. But um, like my first impression was really positive, especially since I didn't have to live in those crappy dorms. Um, and uh, Herman was just a, like a big help to me. I got to use him and <laughs> yes. completely obliterate his record at Berkeley. <laughs> uh, yeah, mine yeah. was pretty similar to Shaman's, I think. I mean, I remember my first drive into Berkeley and like I didn't, like Herman said, like I had gotten into Davis at that point. I was pretty comfortable. I thought I was going to go to Davis and Herman and Shaman were already at Berkeley by that time. I was just like, okay, like I got into Davis. That's great. Like I didn't have too much pressure, but obviously I was waiting more for Berkeley than probably like Herman was because I had two brothers there. So I was like, yeah, it was more a big intrigued deal. by it. Yeah. And yeah. so, yeah, I was surprised when I got in. I was definitely like, wow, this is pretty cool. Because at that yeah. point, I knew it was hard to get in. Like, it actually, after Herman's It started to get really competitive. Exponentially. Because exponentially they took out, hard. like, the UC Davis and, like, exactly. guarantee. Exactly. They took out the and guarantee. And so everything was just getting more competitive. So well, for I, yeah. those of you who don't know, there was, in some most high schools in California, there was a kind of, like, this rule in place that if you were in, like, the top 5% or something like that of your Around class, GPA-wise, et cetera, ranking-wise, you almost, I think you did have a guarantee into yes. UC Davis. Mm -hmm. That had gone away by my year. So... I was even unsure if I was going to get into Davis. I looked into how competitive Berkeley was. I was just like, wow, this is intense. So I got into Berkeley. I was really happy. And I remember driving in my first day, and I was so upset because I had visited Davis, and I liked it a lot. I was like, ooh, the weather's so nice, so really? open, so clean. I mean, yeah, it was open and clean, dude. It wasn't like Berkeley. No offense to anybody that went to Davis, man. That was like... Uh it was like dirty air in the sky. Everyone's on their bicycles. I was not a fan at all of you. I liked it more than Berkeley because I remember so driving out. in. It was not beautiful. Like beauty. Berkeley. I remember beautiful. driving into Berkeley and just being like, "Ew." Yeah, that's like, I can't yeah. believe I have to live here. I'm not a city person. 
this place sucks. Look how gloomy it was in like yep. July. I was just like the what I will say it was it's a pretty gloomy town though. It's not like sunshine. It's like pretty Do, rainy. Uh, in summer time. it gets beautiful. It's really weather dependent. I agree, but man, mm, it, I would say the winters are not Bay Area. really your California. But no, come on. The the winters are definitely like you're running, you're walking up hills and like wet rain. The and, hills suck, and when it rains, it sucks. I agree. It's some tough times, but dude, most and it can of the be year. Cold. My first impression was definitely like, wow, it's so gloomy. I'm so sad. Or like, this is going to suck. Then I guess I started it. And I think just like the transition from high school to college takes away any sort of like negativity because you're so busy just trying to like get used to everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and like similar to Shaman, like, I mean, we're, I was kind of spoiled in that I didn't really have to get used to things as much because I had yeah. visited Hermit. I knew what the semester system was like. I knew about like where to sign up for classes. Huge difference. So, yeah. 